Boop. Hey! Hopefully I'm streaming now. Welcome to uh, part two of the eight part of the <laughs> part two of part eight. <laughs> the stream dropped out, so I'm I had to restart the stream. Uh, and for this episode, I'm going to be banging my head against the wall on <laughs> on this unfair puzzle. <laughs> um, we're going to figure this out. I'm going to try my best to figure this out. I'm going to give it a little bit of time. I don't know how, since I, I'm doing a part two now, and now I feel like I want to uh, <laughs> make this part, this episode, a, like, not a full episode, but go longer than 20 minutes now, because, like, I don't want it just like a 10-minute episode. Um, so I'll, I'll, see, I'll see how that goes. Um, so, yeah, this is part eight. This is the second half of part eight of uh, the, uh, uh, of the Riven playthrough I'm doing in interactive research. Um, and yeah, welcome. So, um, basically, um, I've been getting word in the chat here that this, this, this puzzle is a little bit, uh, unfair, um, which makes me feel better about it. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait, I gotta, ch I gotta check this out. Hold on just a sec, guys. Got it. <laughs> I don't know why that just occurred to me. <laughs> that is so crazy. Like, just all of a sudden, I was like, it just, it just was like, oh, that's probably why it's unfair. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, I did not. I did not. But <laughs> the clouds did lift and I, I suddenly like I think it was just saying the word unfair as I went past those doors and I was like some and some distant memory triggered um, so there we go episode done no <laughs> alright but now I can't do this because I have to all right. Because I have to mess with those steam things. So we've been down there. In the last episode, we went down, like, we've been down to this area, and there's, like, a bunch of, like, steam levers and steam pipes and stuff to, like, like power this stuff, and I think I have to do probably something to make this respond to me here. Um... But the exciting part is we're going to find... I'm going to go the other direction now. and Or we're going to try to open up this. Okay, that doesn't work. Um, that's, a, that's a cool place. I just remember this is a cool place. I kind of know what this is. I don't want to spoil it for anyone who's might be watching this in the future. But, like, um, let's see here. All right, we got one of these spinning things here. All right, I can't really read anything on it. That... I think I have to stop this thing or look at it from a different angle. Something about it makes me think about um, one of those movie... I don't know what those things are called. Where you like, you look through like a telescope and it's got like a shutter speed and like it looks like a moving image. Alright, um, let's go back over here. just want to make sure I'm not really missing anything. Because I am! Here it is. Alright. All right. <laughs> yes, exactly. A book is in there. I remember that. <laughs> I can't wait to get that book. All right. So, yeah. So, basically... Um, 
yeah, uh, Grandpa Crawler was uh, pointing out that uh, in here, there's some clues to what's going on, kind of, um, including maybe a journal. Um, <sighs> so now, oh, there we go. That's it. That lever did that thing. Let's make, let's see what's going on still at the. Um, so that was a spinning fan that was blocking me, and I remembered from my childhood experiences playing this game that uh, I, at some point I'm climbing through that, that vent, um, and I had to stop this somehow, So, but now I did it. Okay, so that's interesting, though, because, I mean, this just seems a little odd. <laughs> like, what's the size of this vent? Like, is it really that realistic that a person can just go like, oh, I'm just going through there? Like... <laughs> It looks small to me. I don't know, maybe it's bigger than it's supposed to be. Maybe it's bigger than it looks. Yeah, it's probably just bigger than it looks. All right. Because now it looks pretty big. Yeah, that looks pretty big. Okay, never mind. All righty. All right, tons of progress now. That was kind of an unfair puzzle because that wasn't even really a puzzle, but it was pretty clever. That was pretty clever. It was like a joke. <laughs> what do we do for this puzzle, guys? Let's just hide it behind a... <laughs> Let's just hide it where no one will see it. <laughs> All righty. Am I offline again? No, I think I'm still streaming. I see the I see this the uh, the chat going, but it still looked a little bit like I might have not been streaming for a second there. Just checking, just checking. Got my laptop here to check my stream. Alrighty, let's take a look at some of the things we got here. So we got what what looks like uh, an office here. This looks like a, a vice. Okay. I don't really see what's going on there. Maybe that's a fish carved into the rock. We keep seeing this one fish. Um, there's books here that I wish I could read, but I think they're supposed to be blank journals or I don't know, but you can't pick them up. This room is one of the coolest rooms because there's just so much to check out. This just makes me feel like going through one of those bedrooms or uh, rooms that are in mist. <sighs> Oh my god, there's a book in there. All right. What's in here? Oh god. Oh, okay, so wait. I'm afraid to click there. Okay, good. Yeah, so that was the linking book. Was that the prison book? At some point we got, I think, I think we had a prison book sent back with us and it got taken from us and now it's destroyed or something. I'm not sure. That's kind of what I'm getting from that now. Maybe I'm completely mistaken. There was a mysterious person that took a book from us at the beginning. And then another mysterious person that, that took the book from that person. <laughs> All right. Oh, three. Three? No. Well, I need my notebook now for that, but... Um, oh, God. <sighs> okay, so last week, while monitoring the situation of the villagers from the scope um, in my... in my very room, um, I observed one of the 
and natives swim out uh, to a small object that appeared to be floating, uh, but anchored um, near the entrance to the bay. Um, I ordered the object removed uh, from the water um, on, ex on inspection, uh, for inspection. inspection. Uh, several days later, however, I was um, surprised to see another floating there. The missing object had apparently and quite mysteriously been replaced with a new one overnight. Um, I've long been aware of the existence of similar artifacts on uh, the villager's island, but I have paid them little uh, notice until now. Tomorrow I shall um, send everyone uh, to send surveyors uh, to catalog the others. Sorry, guys, I'm not the best at reading. Even in, even when it's a font <laughs> like this, I'm not. This is uh, sometimes I'm like not sure exactly what it what the word's saying when it's cursive. All right, uh, let's see here. There we go. So it's these things. These things, I guess, are the the artifacts that just were appearing. Okay. So that wasn't the five symbol. This was like the, yeah, this was the one or three symbol or something. I think one. There's the five symbol right there. Meaning like the five islands. The latest ink formation has uh, proven a failure, okay, or, or formulation. Uh, has proven if the latest ink formulation has uh, p p proven a failure. Uh, even when writing in my uh, most promising uh, books, I obtain only uh, the barest uh, glimmer of a connection. It is uh, frustrating to expect so much. Um, <laughs> creating a blank book um, uh, only to end up uh, destroying it uh, uh, doesn't work uh, there are days when the lab is uncomfortably warm from the flames of these failed attempts uh, the furthest I um, Lament. <laughs> okay. The further I uh, align each element, uh, wait, is that really what that says? Okay. The formulation of the inks and papers, uh, the physical dimensions of the books, the more um, I realize that the list of uh, potential combinations is um, nearly infinite. Okay, right. It is during moments like these that I despair uh, without access to Denis, uh, my long-term goals may never be accom accomplished. Uh, nevertheless, uh, there are um, avenues of research which remain to be explored. Okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> he, his handwriting also, his handwriting is, yeah, great. Dude has great cinematic handwriting. Um, yeah, and you and your brother spent some a few hours working on this too. Yeah, yeah. But I was like, I was like looking at it, going like, okay, this word, baby. Like, I'm not the best at reading cursive, but the funny thing is, this is like a font. Like, it's not even a handwriting. Like, I'm pretty sure, like every time, it's, it's like like that letter is the same everywhere. Like, it's just, 
This guy has perfect handwriting. <laughs> he gets this letter exactly the same every time. Oh my god, there's more. <laughs> um, okay, I'm guess I'm. Why does he do this though? Like it's so weird. Like it's such an interesting style. Like. I am discontinuing regular... I'm talking about, like, this uppercase T right here. Like, what? <laughs> In the middle of discontinuing. Um, I'm discontinuing regular observations. Maybe that's a clue to something. No, like, just every T is uppercase? Is that the thing? <laughs> or looks uppercase? Uh, regular observations of the uh, stars beneath the fissure. So the stars beneath the fissure, I love that they start referencing this because that's that's reference to the original mist. Um, like there's this whole part of the original mist where it's like you start out and like someone's saying something about like falling, someone's falling into a fissure and saying something about the fissure. And like now they're starting to like call back to that and, and kind of explain a little bit of that. Um, so the fissure is something, I'm pretty sure if I remember this right, the fissure is something that exists in Riven um, or yeah, or in the just worlds that are falling apart or something like that. Um, but it, it it exists from time to time in Riven. Maybe it'll just totally explain everything I'm about to say right here. Um, and it's how Atris managed to, Atris, the son of Gan, who I assume is writing this, Gan, Atris's father, the guy that we're, is the bad guy, sort of. We're, we're basically trying to rescue um, Catherine from Gan, uh, Catherine being Atris's uh, uh, wife. Um, and and so we're reading through Gan's journal, um, and it it's talking about the fissure here. But like I'm basically, I'm remembering from I don't know if I'm remembering this from this game or from when I read the original um, Mist novel, where um, uh, basically, um, basically like I remember at the end, like it was how Atris escaped from Gan. He fell into he needed a way out of of uh of riven but couldn't have a way out somehow and so he he figured he he fell into the fissure um to try to keep like a certain book or something of like a certain linking book to trap gan right that's right he fell through into the fissure to trap gan or something like that maybe i'm about to read that right now um, but basically through these fissures you can you can go into like oblivion and like escape the world that you're in or something um, it's kind of not I don't think it's very well explained um, because you are a character like who I am in this world like is someone that was in the fissure at some point found the mist book um, <laughs> and that's how I got to mist so it, it's such a weird sort of start to the game um, Okay, although I've been able to track the dark cloud-like form, uh, formations that uh, migrate through the star field and have proven that their paths are cyclical, um, without proper um, instrumentation, it is pointless to continue. My general uh, theory concerning the nature of the fissure has remained... See, I guess there's, like, there's, there's just mystery to these guys too. They don't really know uh, nature. the nature of the fissure has remained um, unaltered since it just appeared. It seems that the fabric of this age has been breached in a way that um, uh, that permits matter to be uh, uh, hospitably exchanged between two uh, discrete but overlapping spaces okay uh, much like a link but the a link he's referring to um, this whole if you if you're not familiar with this universe um, if you're watching this later on YouTube like um, uh, all these th this whole world is based on these books that link to different worlds uh, that they write um, so let's see here um, much like a link, but the um, uh, apparent physical uh, contradictions uh, surrounding this uh, juncture uh, delay logical reasons. Um, the great column of wind that was formed. Um, 
when the fissure first appeared suggests a vacuum as one might expect in space. Uh, yet my uh, yet my early experimentations revealed the presence of breathable atmosphere. Uh, that atmos that Atris and uh, Catherine uh, threw themselves into the void is further evidence that it might be uh, safe to travel. But with the doubt knowing it, but without knowing it's so yeah, Atris and C Catherine escaped into the void, right? But without knowing, also the 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 I just want to throw out there that the the missed novels are fantastic. There's three missed novels. Um, it's it's all you can get it all in one book called the Mist Reader, um, and they're actually really well done. Um, okay, that uh, might be safe travel, but without knowing, and that's this is all referring to the end, the end of the original Mist novel. Uh, but without knowing its true nature, I cannot take the risk myself. It is also difficult to say what would happen if I were to reopen it after so long, but it is likely that the results would be catastrophic given the changes that have occurred in this age since that, since that time. Maintenance on the steam event uh, caps, uh, maintenance on the steam event caps completed. Okay, <laughs> it's just doing maintenance on stuff. <laughs> uh, I wonder how he does maintenance. You know how they they change things in the world, like by like writing in there. Well, he's in Riven, so I guess he can't write in the Riven book while he's in Riven. That's true. Uh, but like you know, like like Atris right now is like scrambling to save the world. Like I wonder if like these guys do maintenance on their world, like little things like steam caps, by like just writing in the book, like <laughs> or or they just do it. Then. <laughs> I guess they just do it whatever, whatever's easiest, right? <laughs> All right, uh, maintenance on the um, steam vent caps completed. Um, uh, I am extremely pleased with the continued success of this system. I believe the... Hold on. The construction to have been true uh, to the Denny designs of, the, of my memory Another example of the uh, superior. <laughs> he just lays it out there. An another example of the superior of the Dunny technology. Superiority of the Dunny technology. <laughs> uh, it's uh, it's ironic that Atris and Catherine uh, unwittingly provided me with such a convenient uh, source of power. Okay. I don't know what they mean by that. Oh, 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 it's provide. Wait, what? He's getting power from the fissure? Is that what's happening here? Is that, did I, did I misinterpret that? All right. Yeah, well, I won't, I won't. I've read it, so anyone watching, like, you know, probably saw that, but, or heard that, but if that was right or not, but so I won't, I won't, I won't stay on that. But, um, let's see here. But yeah, I think, I think that's what's, what's happening. Like there's the fissure and he's using that to make steam power. It was. All right. As, uh, as with many of my views over the years, my, uh, thoughts regarding the origin of the fissure have changed. Um, I have recently begun uh, to wander, to wonder whether, to wander, <laughs> to wander whether, <laughs> uh, to, to wonder whether it, it was actually an, uh, unexpected byproduct. Oh yeah, byproduct. <laughs> well, uh, to wonder whether it was an unexpected byproduct of the changes Catherine and Antris, uh, wrote into this age during their escape. Uh, certainly by casting their linking book into the void, uh, they trapped me here quite effectively. Um, but I do not believe that Atris intended the book to be lost in the, in the manner much better to destroy it, lost in this manner, much better to destroy 
it uh, than to risk the possibility of its falling into unknown hands. Falling into unknown hands, that's me. I am the unknown hands that it fell into. <laughs> and that's how this whole journey started. Um, also, had they uh, forever the creation of the... F had they for foreseen the <laughs> forever had they foreseen the creation of the fissure um, they would surely have thought that the vacuum it created uh, would eventually consume the atmosphere of this uh, planet right yeah I don't yeah okay um, a late a fate which Catherine undoubtedly would have deemed unacceptable right Uh, for her home world, right. Um, if I had not uh, been... Is that... I had not been there to... Uh, sup, um, if I had not been there to uh, surprise the construct... To, to what? Supervise the construction of the real... Of uh, the seal... Uh, oh, right. This is most certainly what it would have happened. Right, 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 right. Um, they depended on you, Gan, to, to fix it. Um, for the villagers were far too frightened to ever approach the vortex without uh, my urging. Um, I hold on to the belief that it was an unintended consequence of their writing for another reason as well. Um, I prefer to think that my um, son had meant for this uh, age to be uh, merely a prison for me uh, rather than a death sentence. Right, 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 right. That's true. Uh, the construction of the um, images uh, has proceeded without... Did I get that right? Images? Um, has proceeded without fault is... Uh, interesting to see how easily I've been able to adapt the Denny technology to uh, mine uh, that of the uh, hmm that of the um, aimed <laughs> in some way um, uh, similarities between the two uh, cultures was striking Oh, the Ahmad? Is that what these cultures are called? Is that what the, the people here are called? Hmm. I wonder if perhaps... Anyway, sorry, I'm doing this. Uh, I'm just reading this whole thing. <laughs> I hope I'm not boring anyone. That's okay if I am. You guys can... <laughs> I just... I gotta get through this. <laughs> and like... I don't know. This is sort of this is my, one of my favorite things about this game is like all of this, all of this like fiction that you can kind of uncover, um, and and it's it really helps with the pacing of the game. You get a you get a good reward of like story and just like immersing yourself in the world. This so helps with the immersion. Um, these moments where you can just kind of lose yourself in a book, literally, like in the game, and and you're not worried about solving puzzles or getting somewhere. You're just like you just get a reward for like you know getting a getting a, a certain progress through in the game um <laughs> just gonna check the chat here yeah twander <laughs> That must have been one of those words I was having trouble on. <laughs> ah. No problem, man. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, no, finals are tough. <laughs> I'm, I'm reading a whole bunch of stuff from Grant from Colorado. It says he, says, he, said he has a final soon. And he's depressed and hopeless because of that. <laughs> Man, what are you studying? That's awesome that you have, um, that you're doing, doing some school stuff. 
Let's see here. All right. Or is it finals in high school? <laughs> All right. I got here. Katas. I wonder if perhaps I had been uh commu oh, wait. If I had communi wait. If I had been communicating <laughs> <laughs> Watch as I stumble through trying to read cursive. <laughs> I wonder if perhaps uh, there had been communication on uh, uh, or commence uh, or commerce. Right, right. I wonder if perhaps there had uh, there had been communication or commerce between the two cultures uh, in earlier times. Uh, maybe Keta's uh, people were uh, Keta's. Keta's. That must be one of the people here. Cadis people uh, were uh, even uh, descendants of the uh, Dani. Right. Uh, it pleases me to think so. See, I don't know how they would think that like people that lived here were descendants of the Dani. Um, it, there's this whole like argument sort of like whether this world was created or they were they're linking to it, right? But um, because Dan wrote the world, and but I I don't know if like it seems based on that statement it seems like he's assuming that this world already existed before he even before he even wrote the world but i i remember that being sort of a thing like are you creating the world or are you um just linking to a world that already exists when you write the book um no it's possible uh that if i were uh, somehow able to supply the books with a power source of sufficient magnitude I could uh, suppress the variance enough. Um, hmm. Right, right, right. Okay, so this is probably a clue on how something's going to work here. Um, I could suppress the variance on the. This looks like this. This picture here looks like. Um, well, it looks like that thing in the school that was projecting an image, um, and of of Gan. I would assume of Gan and. Um, and then it also looks like that thing uh, in the temple that we that we walk through uh, towards the beginning of our playthrough with the fish on with the fish statues on either side. That was also we we managed to see a little bit of a like a projection of Ganon. So this is some sort of projector thing that he's figuring out. Um, I could suppress the variance enough to uh, facilitate a solid link. Um, it is doubtful that the. Uh, geothermal uh, cap uh, gener generators could provide such an enormous surge uh, perhaps I could adapt the fire marbles um, the fire marbles the fire fire fire, fire. Did I, the line? <laughs> I might be reading that wrong um, I have been uh, cataloging the natural elements of this age uh, for nearly 30 years now, yet still I continue to find evidence of the Dene uh, preoccupation with five. So yeah, I'm just going to make it through this book and then I'm going to, that's going to be it for, for this episode. But, um, but yeah, uh, let's see here, but I really want to make, make it through all these books. Let's see here. Um, let's see. I'm glad we got two episodes done to, today, pretty much. Well, one episode. I'm probably going to call this part eight, part two, or eight, part two, or whatever. Maybe I'll just call it part nine. <laughs> um, as a boy, it was very clear to me that the number five had a special, uh, significance to the Denny society right okay right and there's five islands here uh, from the ancient uh, her uh, heraldic uh, emblems of the uh, ruling elite to the humble homes of the uh, commoners uh, was ubiquitous right uh, its presence here is obviously a direct reflection of the minds uh, that designed the texts that I used to uh, compose this age. Interesting. 
Yeah, yeah, because there's a there's like reoccurring whole five thing going on here on this in this world. Uh, further proof that through their art of the knee uh, masters were uh, indeed creating uh, marvelous worlds. See now, the art of Denis, that's what they're talking. He's talking about the the art of writing books that link to other worlds. Um, which is how either all these worlds are created, or it's how they are just found or discovered. Um, travel to. Uh, indeed, creating the marvelous worlds they wrote, and not, uh, as many have uh, mistakenly thought, merely building links to pre-existing worlds. Oh, you see, here's the thing, yeah, uh, that through their art of Denim uh, Masters were indeed creating the marvelous worlds uh, they wrote, and and not... Right, 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 right. What, so what does he think? What does he think? Let me go back here. For the proof, right. Direct reflection of the minds that... Right, 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 right. Oh, so uh, maybe he didn't write Riven. Maybe Riven is actually... Maybe he's discovered Riven? Like by recreating a text that he knew of or had? I don't know. Okay, anyway. Um, I got to read those books again, read the myth novels again, figure out what was going on here. Um, that through the, but here he's saying he totally believes that they're creating the worlds, not, not finding worlds that are, that are not building links to worlds that are already pre existing. Um, while most of the construction uh, have been constructions have been based on Denis designs, I see now that the ones that I have uh, imbued with the power of five are clearly the most beautiful, um, the most perfect, and I believe the most uh, structurally sound. Ha! Huh. Well, that's what you think. This, uh, <laughs> this is, um, I don't think this world is very structurally sound. <laughs> All right, I am still attempting to determine how the Denis color uh, symbology reflects this uh, su super, uh, superior design principle, although uh, superficially it is based on a six color system. Uh, I am... Uh, I am concerned concerned and convinced <laughs> that there has to be a uh, deeper connection to to five um i will continue to investigate and those are all the five things yeah okay so okay i finally made a breath take a breakthrough um i have succeeded in uh modifying the five marbles bid to generate modifying yeah that's enough power to hold are these things the fire marbles these eyes um to hold a descriptive linking book in a uh stable uh matrix i have linked to a new world oh wow oh he figured out how to link to a new world he figured out how to write a new world uh, when he didn't have, I think he didn't have like the 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 reference material he needed while here to to, to write any more worlds, um, but he figured it out or something. Uh, it has a harsh and desolate age, uh, but I nonetheless well uh, suited for, but nonetheless well suited for my purpose, and so I have uh, designated it my whatever that is. Sec uh, there's a number going on there. I, I'll, I'll look that up in my in my text at some point. My something age. <laughs> uh, by studying uh, it closely, I believe I will eventually be able to create a more appropriate uh, age uh, for us to settle on. Uh, for now, I will build an office and set up my uh, living quarters the, uh, there in in order in order that I may conduct my experiments 
in safety and without distraction. Okay. Um, so we got here, that looks like images of uh, the age where he is. And then, so that might be where he is right now. Uh, I must admit that I am proud of my work to, uh, to think that in such primitive conditions, I have uh, accomplished in 29 years uh, what it took the original Denis uh, 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 century, oh, oh, centuries to achieve. Well, yeah, man, but you already knew kind of what you were going for. Of course, it took them centuries because, like, they they stumbled into it, kind of, <laughs> probably. Uh, <laughs> he likes to give himself credit. Um, okay, note, uh, repair outer wear <laughs> for <laughs> note go to store to get underwear <laughs> uh, <laughs> note repair outerwear for uh, uh <laughs> work uh on this world the goggles may need to be uh redesigned altogether okay uh i have a shopping list <laughs> i have been um I've begun uh, construction on the uh, series of link sites for each island uh, that will uh, connect Riven to my new office on blah. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll, I'll grab my notebook in a second and figure out what that number is. Um, the uh, survey guild uh, has finally com uh, completed uh, the site location uh, for each island according to my exact specifications and uh, and installation of the domes is uh, underway at last okay uh, work on the uh, central power source uh, got off to a bit of a bad uh, start I'm afraid but the uh, pace has picked up uh, uh, con um, considerably since uh, I am in since since then and I anticipate uh, no further delays I'm looking forward to finally having a civilized mode of uh, transportation yay okay <laughs> and there's the dope it's a power source all right something like that um, all right let me take a, just a little bit of break here <laughs> I'm going to check the chat. Science. Curves is, uh, <laughs> cursive is a horrid and retarded thing. Well, yeah, maybe, yeah. <laughs> uh, my beard is... Uh, Grant from Colorado is asking if I trim my beard. Um, I do trim my beard. Um, <laughs> thank you. If you think it's symmetrical, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Wait, you wrote this all down? Oh, my God. This is in your notebook? Oh, man. Okay, yeah, Grant from Colorado is saying he, he wrote this all down, uh, and uh, what, what is WP, I, 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 what, WP man, WP man? <laughs> uh, oh, wow, yeah, it probably helps to write it down, because that way it's like you don't have to read it from, well, that way you already, always have it, but like also it's not in this ridiculous cursive. Um <laughs> decided to install a coded access system into all of the domes all right uh okay well i need that i need that code so i'm gonna i'm gonna write down that code you know what okay wait, let me see how many more pages are in this this might be the end of the episode um let me just see how many pages we got here holy crap <laughs> okay so i'm gonna prepare myself to go through that um, and the next episode, I think I'm going to start on this page right here. I will have this and we'll, we'll, I'll try to sum up what, 
what I've, what the first part of this book is in the next next episode, and um, and we'll take it from there. So uh, so yeah, um, I might be doing some more streams maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Um, uh, I'd like to do more, not just do two two a week. Um, but uh, but yeah, this has been kind of two episodes. So I'm just gonna call this part nine. So it'll be weird when people start the YouTube channel, like YouTube uh, video, and it'll I'll be saying it's part eight, but it's gonna be part nine. <laughs> And uh, yeah, that's gonna be that's 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 gonna be it. So, um, thanks for joining me. This is uh, this has been a huge breakthrough episode. We got a lot of progress here. Um, let me close that book. Hopefully, I, I should have had a bookmark. <laughs> um, and we will finish exploring this this uh, this uh, office that we found of of Gans, uh, Atris's father, and uh, figure out. Well, I think we've already figured out where he is, but we're gonna figure out how to get to where it is. Um, awesome. <laughs> Thanks, man. All right. Oh, well played. Okay, yeah, see? I gotta learn about a bunch of that kind of stuff. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around. Um, and yeah, I'll, I'll be back at this next week. Maybe I'll do a bonus episode at some random part during the week just to learn the language or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take a break right now. It's been a couple hours. So, uh, so this sounds, it seems like a good stopping point. And, uh, all right. Thanks for sticking with me. Grant from Colorado. All right. Later. <laughs> and let me, uh, now, I, oh, wait, I got to make sure I save it. All right. Save. Out of there and stop streaming. All right. Bye. Thank you, man. That was awesome. We're, we're making our way through it. <laughs>